Well, good morning, everybody. Hope you all are having a great day. Thanks for checking back into the channel. If you're new to the channel, thank you for stopping by and please consider hitting that subscribe button. What I've got for you guys today, I just wanted to show you an outlay of parts and tools that we're gonna be using to replace the timing change on this 2007 Cadillac CTS. Now, I'm not gonna go into uh, depth in this video on how to put on these different parts and pieces, but be sure to check the links down in the description below. I'm gonna have at least uh, two parts um, on this timing chain replacement series. So be sure to check those links down in the description below for those videos. But again, just an outlay of kind of the main parts and components and specialty tools that we've been using and are going to use for this timing chain replacement job. So to get started, the main part that you're gonna need is a timing chain kit. Now this kit happens to be by Cloy's. This is their uh, 9-0753S kit. And this comes, I'll just go through a couple of these parts with you. And I'll have links to all of these parts down in the description below if you're interested in any of these parts as well. So this kit comes with your three timing chains, um, your sprockets, your tensioners, your tensioner guides, you know, and all the pieces that you're going to need to replace the timing chain. So this is an entire timing kit, which I, I found was pretty convenient and pretty, pretty nice to have. This kit, um, at the time of this video, was about 280 bucks on Amazon. <clears throat> uh, let's see, the next kit uh, that I picked up for this project was this Felpro valve cover gasket set. And this is their VS50726R. And of course it comes with the two gaskets and new grommets for the screws. And this kit is um, made for the 3.6 liter motor, which is what we have in this car, and also the 2.8 liter motor. And this comes with valve covers, uh, gaskets both left and right, and then as I said, the grommets. All right. And then the next uh, gasket kit that I picked up for this car, which is uh, for the 3.6, 3.0, and 2.8, this is a gasket set that includes the water outlet timing cover, uh, timing cover housing, the crankshaft front seal, a tube of RTV sealant, water pump, um, and O-rings. And this is part number TCS 461. Zero 08 <clears throat> and again I'll have links to all of these down in the description below if you're interested in, and need these parts now this kit here as I mentioned comes with the crankshaft front seal but I actually went ahead and picked up an OEM uh, GM crankshaft front seal gasket and this is part number 12608750 if you need one of these and then also I went ahead and picked up a replacement um, harmonic balancer bolt. This is uh, GM part number 11549124. So that's all for the kind of the standard parts that you're going to need to to do the timing chain replacement. Now a couple of the specialty tools, the first one I think and the most expensive one is this guy right here. This is a flywheel holding tool and you'll need this to replace or to torque down the harmonic balancer bolt. So what you do with this one is you remove the two bolts that hold the starter motor, you pull the starter motor out, and then you put this guy right in place where the starter motor was, bolt this to the engine, and then these teeth on here hold the flywheel such that then you can torque down that harmonic balancer bolt to the proper torque. All right, so the next specialty tool that you may or may not need is a set of these guys right here. These are your uh, camshaft holding tools, and the set actually comes with either two or three of these guys, depending on which model you get. Um, these aren't all of them, of course. I did uh, buy a set of these on Amazon. They weren't too terribly expensive. I think maybe 20 25 bucks, something like that. Um, but they come with uh, three, three different versions of these, um, two of which you'll use on the camshafts when you're adjusting and taking on and off the um, timing chains. I think these are more uh, used more for when you're taking off the uh, cam phaser sprockets on the front of the camshafts um, as opposed to when you're changing out the timing chains. But again, if you need some of these, I'll have a link to these down in the description below. Um, let's see, and then just a bottle of, uh, or a tube of Ultra Gray gasket maker. That'll come in handy. I needed a set of these guys here. This is your fuel line 
removal tools. Um, for this particular project, I needed the blue one, which is the 3 8 inch uh, diameter tubing or size. So you need that to remove the fuel line. Um, let's see what else here. Now this is kind of a unique purchase here. Now Kentmore makes a specialty tool. Um, I think it's called an alignment tool for when you're actually installing or reinstalling the front cover back onto the motor. They are essentially just uh, you know bolts without the heads on them, threaded bolts without the heads on them that you screw into the block and then you can use those as guides as you're putting back on the front cover. Well that kit was <coughs> Yeah, you know, more than I wanted to pay. Um, I don't remember the price, but um, I went on eBay and I found a set of these bolts. Uh, these are M8 by 1.25 by 125 millimeters long. And so what we're going to do is just cut the heads off these bolts and then I'm going to use these as the guides when we put the um, timing cover back on. And then the last kind of specialty tool that I picked up was just a seal puller. And this is just to remove the seal uh, from the front cover, the camshaft seal. I'm sorry, the crankshaft seal from the front cover. But this is probably pretty handy to have. I've got to do the um, change the seals on my differential on my Envoy coming up pretty soon. So that thing will be helpful as well. Um, so guys, that is just a quick look at the parts, uh, the, the main parts and pieces that I picked up for this project. And again, I'll have links to all of these down in the description below if you need any. Um, you know, feel free to check those product links out uh, for yourself. So anyway, that's going to do it for this short video. Again, just wanted to give you a quick overview of all the parts that we're going to be using um, for this project. Also, be sure to check the links in the description below for parts one and two of this timing chain job on this 2007 CTS. So guys, thanks for checking out the video. Please be sure to leave a like, comment. If you have any questions, I'll be sure to answer them to the best of my ability. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.